Whether you like hunting and fishing or just getting out and enjoying the natural state, there's a lot going on around Arkansas this spring. Wake Up Central's Hayden Balkavy breaks it all down in today's Outdoor Report. Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm Hayden Balgavy alongside Trey Reed, Arkansas Game and Fish. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, Hayden. How are you, man? Oh, uh, it's great to be the weekend. Excited to enjoy a little bit. Spring now, time. what we've been talking about, we talked about last week a little bit, going into it, turkey season here in Arkansas. The youth, some big numbers, yeah. and then, of course, don't have all the new numbers in yet for everybody else. But we're, we're five full days and, and starting our sixth day of the regular season yeah. uh, this morning. But, yeah, the youth hunt went really well. Uh, kind of a mixed bag. The first day was great conditions, the first Saturday a week ago, and then Sunday not quite as good. But uh, the kids, uh, ages 6 to 15, who were eligible for the youth hunt, Man, they bagged over 1,100 turkeys. No kidding. So that was a good. That it was, was windy a, some of those it, days too. Yeah, yeah. It was a Sunday especially. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so yeah, it was uh, it was good, man. Uh, that bodes well. You know, we talked about it a little bit last week. We are seeing good reproduction. Good. I say better reproduction. Sure, sure, let me better. let me let me phrase that <laughs> better because uh, it's been it's it's been suppressed for a number of years. And so uh, that was encouraging to see what the kids did on their youth weekend. Uh, the regular season started Monday. And Monday was nice, especially early, not too much wind. It got a little windy later in the day, but if you remember Tuesday, we had lines of thunderstorms oh, move through, yeah. a couple of different ones. And uh, so that, unfortunately, the, the weather had played such a big impact. Not, I mean, you know, look, uh, you don't want to go turkey hunting or fishing if the wind's blowing 30 miles an hour no. and, and <laughs> it's rainy and there's thunderstorms. So it keeps people you know, out of the woods or off the water if we're talking about fishing. And it also, you know, those birds are out there living in it all the time, oh, sure. but it, it, it will kind of disrupt some of their normal routines and that sort of thing. So, hey, but you can't, uh, you can't shoot a turkey sitting on the couch. So uh, get out there and enjoy. Uh, looks like it's shaping up to be a pretty good week this coming week. Yeah, don't try that if you're even thinking about it. Don't do it. Now, the great news <laughs> is, is I saw Tracy Bean's forecast. Looks like this upcoming week, much more calm, much better. Since yeah, since that would guys. be, man, yeah. you know, the, the, the turkey hunting is such a game. Of, you know, you're talking back and forth, calling the birds. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to hear them. And sometimes they come in quiet. Uh, but, yeah, we, we'll, we'll take calm conditions, you know, mild days. Uh, in any day during turkey season. Anytime too. Okay, so this Saturday, a couple of days ago, some big stuff going on, Lake Conway. I know we still call it Lake Conway, even though it's not that full lake and the projects going right, on. Right, right. Uh, big cleanup going on. Yeah, absolutely, Hayden. You know, we've talked about this multi-year project to renovate the lake. And one of the things that we're able to do right now, one of the first things that we're able to do as the lake has come down is pick up trash sure. off the shoreline. One of the things that came out of our public meetings that we held, people were like, well, what can I do? How can I become involved? Yeah. And this is a great way for people to do it. Uh, officially 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. You don't have to, you know, you're not committed to 12 hours or whatever, <laughs> but you can come by Pierce Creek Landing, Highway uh, 89 Bridge Access. There's a couple of other spots. Uh, and you can go to agfc.com slash Lake Conway to get more details okay. about this and where we're going to have dumpsters set up. But we will have water out there, uh, some gloves. If you need some heavy gloves, we'll have like the nitrile latex type gloves. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you have some he heavy leather gloves that you'd prefer, bring those yourself. We'll have a few trash grabbers and things like that but again the dumpsters you go get the trash bring it back man we, we this is a great way for the community to get involved in this and I know a lot of kids I've got kids at home yeah. high school age they gotta <laughs> have those community service hours this is a great way to uh, chip away at some of those I mean who knows you could find some treasure down there you don't know you never know what you might <laughs> find out there but you know we've had some tornadoes and things over That's the right. past that have dumped some trash in the lake as well if you can't make it on this one, we're doing it today and tomorrow as well. We okay. started on Thursday, but we're going to be doing this again in May and again in June. But right now, not a lot of vegetation has grown up mm -hmm. on the shoreline yet, so it's a good time to be able to see that trash, get your hands on it, pick it up, and clean up Lake Conway. What a cool story, sort of say six, seven years from now, you go back and you're fishing in Lake Conway and say, you know, I was picking up trash and uh, cleaning this, this spot helped, right here. I helped with this renovation. That's awesome. Man, <laughs> yeah. that's so good, and it helps out everybody too. And there's so many good folks in Faulkner County and Lake Conway area who Absolutely. appreciate hey, it. Hey, one thing I want to add too, Hayden, uh, you know, obviously if you're a property owner on Lake Conway, you can clean up your property sure. anytime you want to, but if you've got some bigger 
stuff. Hey, take advantage of this to bring it over to that dumpster. Yeah. Now, you know, don't bring your whole dilapidated <laughs> dock over, but you know, if you've got like some some tires and things like that, I mean, we are separating the tires out. Okay. They can't go into regular trash, but uh, we'll have Game of Fish folks out at these locations and they tell you where to where to put different kinds of trash. Big time. Yeah. I know it's a five-year project, big step in this project. Absolutely. It's going to fly by and before you know it. Before you know it, we're going to be catching big bass out there again. Can't and wait. crappie and brim and all, all the all catfish, of all of it. Can't wait. Can't yeah, wait. Man. You know, it's perfect timing. My one-year-old be about five or six then. I'll take him. Perfect we'll age to learn that? how to catch bluegills and thanks red Thanks for doing ear. me a favor. Appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, man. Awesome. Trey, thanks so much <laughs> you again. Bet, sure hey. do appreciate it. You thanks, guys man. have a wonderful Saturday. Help out the great folks near Lake Conway. And again, head on out there if you got the time.